Good morning, dear church. For somebody is uh, morning, but for uh, some people is already the daylight. So we are very happy to see you at this uh, anniversary when we celebrate 22 years. So let us uh, give applause to Jesus Christ, who is powerful God. Let us praise the Lord with everything we have with our hands, with our legs, with our praising. Are you ready to praise our Lord? So let us praise the Lord. Give applause to Jesus. Kiev, we congratulate you. Uh, town Dnipropetrovsk is serving you and we serve you from heart to heart. And we are very happy that you are our family. So let us praise the Lord with... It's a very simple song. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's like an exercises. So be ready. Hallelujah. I want. Because we are close, we are brothers and sisters, and you are our father.
so let us sing loudly. Thank you, Jesus. Happy birthday, church. Hallelujah. Let us praise the Lord. Dear friends, do everybody know that our Jesus is alive? Let everybody say our Lord is alive. Our Lord is alive. Hallelujah. Let us praise the Lord.
Our God is eternal and He doesn't change. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Honor Him with all your heart. Hallelujah. We praise you, our Lord. And uh, our wish is to be closer to you. We are here because we want to meet you, God. We are here for you, God, for you, our Father. To meet you, we praise you. Let us make this step to towards the God. Let's sing to our Lord.
Хочу я быть на шаг ближе, на шаг ближе к тебе. Хочу я быть на шаг ближе, на шаг ближе к тебе. Хочу я быть на шаг ближе, на шаг ближе к тебе. Хочу я быть на шаг ближе, на шаг ближе к тебе. Хочу я быть на шаг ближе, на шаг ближе к тебе. We want to be closer to you, our Lord. Our hearts are open to you. We want to worship you. God, give me power to worship you every day. I want to be thankful.
God, you are great and you are holy. You are powerful and loving God. We honor you so much. You are so good. We are thankful. And we have only one goal. Because for what we gathered here, we want to worship you. We want to tell you how much we love you. I want to ask you, bless us this anniversary. Let every service, every mission with you be fruitful and let every service bring blessings to everybody. We thank you, God. Our honor to you in the name of Jesus. Let us say Amen. Amen. We are very glad to see holy people in the house of God because God is between us. And we congratulate everybody this uh, anniversary God has gathered us. We are very happy to see everybody. We greet everybody who is watching us online and who has come abroad to this place. And every service is very unique, so don't miss any service. So tell to your neighbor that you will not miss any service. I will try. Because I want to receive from God everything He has prepared for me. Dear brothers and sisters, God appreciates everybody. And He has prepared something unique. And you will remember after anniversary. So let us be seated. Praise the Lord. So please uh, look at the screen. We will watch video. We will see a video of our church when we were in 2003, one of the first years of our church. Our God is real, and yesterday, to, today, and tomorrow He shall remain the same. He is the God of the heaven and the earth, and of all in the world. And I was thinking, how can I congratulate us with this special day? And I just had this understanding that the people here today, it is an attempt not to forget about His mercy. David gave us some good advice when he said, Rejoice, O oh my soul, rejoice, and do not forget any of his blessings. And we know that we need to actually try not to forget his blessings because there are so, so many distractions around us that try to distract us and tell us that God does not do enough in our lives. But if we are mindful and mature in God, we will try not to forget His greatness. So I just want to tell everybody, tell all the guests and all the local people that the point of this meeting and the purpose of this celebration 
It is to show that we are thankful to God. It is a wish to recount everything He says in our lives. And of course, He does a lot in our lives. And I encourage all of you, even after this conference, that we continue to bless His name so that we will never forget His mercy on us. He is worthy. He is amazing. There is no one like Him. He is the only one like Him. And He does so much amongst us. And we just address you that you with us will serve our God. Because here on this open place, our God deserves all praise. And such as He deserves our glory in a hidden and secret room, He also deserves it in the open. We need to show Him our praise, our glory, our thankfulness, and everything good. He deserves all of it. And we will continue doing it until He comes down to collect us, until we bring the heavens to the earth, until we see His will fulfilled on this earth. I congratulate all of you, congratulate myself, and I am very glad that I am living in such a time. May God bless all of us. Hallelujah. Let's give God a big round of applause. And that was said 13 years ago, but it's as if it was said yesterday. So look at each, turn around to each other and give each other a high five. Say, I congratulate you with the 22nd anniversary of the Embassy of God Church. And maybe you want to greet our people who are watching online. Alright, so with a big round of applause, I don't know if this will work or not, let's give Let's try to transfer this atmosphere to all the people who are looking at us online. Go louder, 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 faster, louder. We greet each and every one of you. Even if you're in such a random country like Zimbabwe, we congratulate you with the 22nd anniversary of this church. And now Anton is going to give you a song. Wait, wait, how many times do I have to tell you? I am a very, very famous singer in a little crowd, which is basically just my mom and my sister. And that, that is what you said, your mom is an amazing singer. Well, I know this person and helped to, thanks to them, I was able to learn how to sing. And I just want to congratulate on this stage, Alexander Clowning with the song Apostle Andrew so let's give him a big round of applause a national artist of Ukraine Alexander Klaus you should watch I'm gonna I'm a prophet it will come to pass he's not just a national artist of Ukraine he is my favorite artist in Ukraine Hello there, church. Спричала рыбачу, апостол Андрей, а спаситель ходил по воде. Our Savior was walking on water and Andrew took out different fishes from the water and the Savior was taking out the uh, perishing people out of them. Do you see there up in the mountain the cross is going up. Under it there are many soldiers can you um, can you have, be hanging on the cross? And when you are tired, just go back to walk on the water with me. Видишь, 
Do you see? There, in the mountain, there is a cross. And under it, there are many soldiers. Don't you want to hang on the cross? And if you are tired to hang there, go back to walk with me on the water. But, uh, dear teacher, there are horns on the helmets. And Savior couldn't say anything. He just was walking on the water. Do you see that there, up in the mountain there is a cross? And under it, under it there are many soldiers. Don't you want to hang on it? And when you are tired to, to be on, on the cross, come back to walk on the water with me. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, it's awesome. I want you to give a big round of applause. Glory be to you, Jesus. God is alive. Dear friends, do you mind walking on the water? Will you? I think someone has paid the price for us to walk on the water. Because the kingdom of God is taken with efforts only. And the ones who apply efforts uh, delight the Lord. So th therefore, let us give a round of applause to those people who paid the price for us to worship at this place. Happy birthday, my dearly beloved church. All clowning, Alexander, Alexander clowning was performing. Alexander clowning, thank you. And you know, dear friends, when we live on the earth, we think and we suppose that everything is going to be okay. But sometimes there are challenges in life, sometimes there are circumstances in life which will always lead and want to lead the person to the darkness. But the sacrifice on the cross can drag out the person from this darkness. And let us watch a short video. On the screen, the church re uh, restoration, reconstruction. Hello, my name is Svetlana. A year ago, my acquaintance brought me to this hospital and I was in time. The doctors assessed the condition of Svetlana as a critical so she had pancreatitis, ulcer, hepatitis C, chronic pleuritis, HIV, and many other diagnoses. So this diagnosis didn't leave any chance to survive for Svetlana. I was born in a normal family. My mother worked at some canteen. 
and my father uh, was a driver and I thought my life was happy because I finished uh, college then I married and I was happy I bore a child and then I started to abuse drugs and uh, started liking you know this deal And we fell apart with our, uh, with my husband, divorced, and I started to live in the streets. I used to live with uh, drug addicts, and I liked that such such uh, lifestyle. You know, the police was always around me. And as a result, the prisons appeared to be a salvation for me. I had nine. Um, I, I had to sit um, in the prison, and I was convicted nine times. And as a consequence of such a life, I acquired many diseases, and therefore I decided that alcohol will be the way out from all these troubles. There is Pasha, neighbor of mine. And I used to abuse drugs with him. And something happened with me. And I thought that um, he got crazy, he was mesmerized because he started telling me about the Lord. And I thought that he got crazy. But I'm now grateful that he appeared in my life exactly at the right time, in the right place. You know, I was testifying about the Lord for seven or eight years. You know, I was very persistent. And now that's Sveta, who I know now, she is a completely changed person. And now she's saving other people. You know, the disease was progressing and I stopped walking. I couldn't, I couldn't not only walk, but also drink and breathe. I was in a very poor condition. I did not want to go to the hospital because I was short of money. And my friend brought me to the hospital and he used to come to the hospital to visit me. He was bringing some food for me. And this friend was Pasha. Can you imagine? I couldn't walk. I couldn't stand up. I couldn't even uh, put a spoon of a soup into my mouth. I had pain all over me, and I thought that this is the end of all. But it is Pasho who used to visit me. He helped me to take the food, and he also encouraged me that it's not the last time of your life you will leave, he said. And then he invited me to the church, and I thought, why should I go to the church? And how can I go to the church if I cannot walk, I cannot even sit? But even though I thought all that, they helped me. The members of the church helped me to go. And after the church, I used to come back to the uh, hospital and, you know, they helped me. And the patients in my room uh, also noticed that my eyes changed. There was a glimpse in my eyes, some shine in my eyes after I was returning from the church. After a while, Svetlana got healed and she started to go to the church regularly. This place is precious for me because it's full of memories. 
Because, you know, this place is a testimony that I could die, but I live on the earth now. And when we were walking here in the park uh, with a Pasha, it was also a challenging time because I couldn't walk and it was hard to get to, the, to my room in the hospital. And you know, while I was, uh, you know, in invalid, uh, I was thinking, oh, where can I sit? How can I stop walking? It was so painful. But now I can enjoy my life. And thank to God, I am alive and I can live and breathe myself. When people say there is no hope, there is faith, and faith can do miracles. Glory be to God. Let us give glory to the Lord. He saved Svetlana. And you know, it's so interesting that Svetlana is a heroine of this uh, video, and she is now in the hall. I want to invite her to the stage for her to, to add something. Let us welcome him. Glory be to God. I'd like to ask you. So you had five or six diagnoses, it seems, yeah? And when even there is one diagnosis, people think that they perish. But you had a lot more. So what do you feel? When um, my doctor was giving me a permission to go home, uh, he told me that there is a little hope for you to survive. But I answered that there is God. Can you imagine that this is faith which saved me? Can you see that I'm standing before you alive? What would you like to say uh, to those people who are now in the hall or are watching us online, who have similar problems or some challenging diagnosis? Uh, what would you like to say to them? Just believe and you will succeed. Just go to the Lord. Uh, I can repeat these words thousands of times. Go to the Lord, knock at His door, and He will open to you. Just go to Him. Okay, thank you very much. In the deep darkness where I don't know the world, I'm standing alone face to face to my sin. I didn't know how to continue my way. Where can I get peace to my soul? Come to his presence. This is holy place, place of his mercy. I'm running to you. I'm running. I'm running to the altar of mercy where Jesus will cover all my sins and will wash me with his blood and heal me from all my wounds by the altar of mercy I'm running to the altar of mercy there is no hope there where you are living now You may not find peace from your sin. Unrealized dreams. Though you should know that the place of mercy is open for you forever. You can always come to his presence. This is holy place. Place of his mercy. I'm running, running to the altar of His mercy. 
where Jesus covers all my sins and washes all my sins with his blood will heal me at the altar of mercy. I'm running to the altar of mercy. In the deep darkness, the place which I don't know, I'm standing all alone, face to face to my sin. I didn't know my ways. I didn't know how to continue my way. I didn't know where I could find my, the peace to my soul. Go to His presence. This is holy place. Place of His mercy. I'm running to the altar of His mercy. Where Jesus will cover all your sins and will wash them with His, with his blood and will heal all your wounds. Run to the altar of mercy. I'm running to the altar of His mercy. Run, run to the altar of His mercy, where Jesus will cover all your sins and will wash them with His blood. He will heal all your wounds. Just run to the altar of His mercy. Well done! Bravo! Well done! Bravo! This is not just trio, it's a family, right? This is a family of Shehabuddinovs. This is a family of gems and talents. And now it's the time for a very dull and an interesting um, section like announcements. So we, uh, we can introduce some CDs and uh, books of uh, Ambusevga Church. And um, Calling Purpose and Attaining Goals, the book is available in English language by Sunday Adelaide. And also other books are available at the bookstall and in the social city. Social city on your left hand. You can also get acquainted with different presentations and business offers. Dear friends, uh, during anniversary you can take part in photo session, photo shooting, everywhere on the territory of this building, in the corridors, um, in the hall, whatever. And also, you can uh, find the photographer in room number 12. So this is room number 12, where you can find a photographer. During these days, there will be a seminar for women. 
Um, women, have you attended a seminar dedicated to women? Wave your hand. You see, there are not so many people who attended that seminar. So if you wish, you may go there. The beginning of the seminar is at half uh, 12 on the first floor. Only for women. And now, let us greet a presenter of a unique, international, I would say universal, project. This is the first time in your city, in this country, there is a worldwide known circus, acrobats, clowns, and of course trapeze artists. Stop it, please. Stop it. We don't need circus. This is the life and the school of life. This is not circus, but the University of Life project. It's a very serious international project which is targeted to transform lives. This is not circus. And we were preparing for this presentation very seriously and while doing so we uh, were also shocked ourselves by the uh, results it has. You know, University of Life offers a lot of uh, books, projects, uh, which you will now see. The time is going swiftly. Just recently, we were thinking to, um, you know, how can we find um, the way to connect with people, then later on, more mobile phones appeared, then other gadgets and now we can get through to any person through any device because this is the time of speed and acceleration and can you tell me do you have time to study for example can you allocate 10 years of your life just for education do you have it or at least five years for education? I believe it's very hard to answer this question. To be wealthy and rich is the purpose of many, but no one wants to pay five or ten years of his or her life for that. And this is why self-education is the way out. Let us read the books and attend different trainings of University of Life and thus we will not need to waste five or ten years of our life. By reading the book you can make history. And if you uh, don't get self-educated there will be someone who will influence your life and will uh, lead you in life, not you yourself. And you know, while sitting on the pews here, you are not just an attendee of a certain conference, you are the one who will be able to transform your life and many other lives. You can also become a student of the University of Life project. University of Life offers nourishing life. It will teach you to live creatively and in an interesting way. So, and to know how it will be, let us invite Roman Panamarenko. Give a round of applause. Let us play. 
Roman Panamarenko is a creator of intellectual games and a trainer of family relationships, a creative thinker. He is married, has two children. He lives playing games. He can find any solution through games and can find any uh, decision. Let us play. Let us stand up. Okay, let me suggest playing one very interesting game. This game is for attention. The person who will fulfill my tasks correctly is a good girl or good, good boy. So let us stand up now and let us play such a game. So you have three attempts. Just repeat after me. And repeating after me, you should learn something new. So you have three attempts. Repeat after me and show such movements. The opportunities are there. And the opportunities are here. I see opportunities all over around. Everywhere around. There is another attempt for you. Now, just imagine uh, that you are the person who sees opportunities all around you. So there is, this is the second attempt. The, the opportunities are there. The opportunities are here. I see opportunities. Always and everywhere. And last time. The opportunities are there. The opportunities are here. I see opportunities always and everywhere. So let us now start playing game. Now I will I will now uh, start uh, repeating the same words but showing different movements and the one who will repeat the same movements with the same words is a good boy or good girl. The opportunities are there. So I will confuse you with my movements. You should repeat those movements which were before. So the opportunities are there. Opportunities are here. I see opportunities. Always and everywhere. Who has n not made any mistakes? Uh, raise your hand. So please congratulate yourself with the victory. Tell yourself that you are the person who sees opportunities everywhere. Let us repeat. The opportunities are there. The opportunities are here. I see opportunities. Always and everywhere. Thank you. Roman, I think you look very solid and uh, cannot understand how come you invented such a simple game. What can it give? It gives a uh, good opportunity to spend uh, time, uh, leisure time in a fun way. And during several days, these days, in our cafe, in our social city, I will, I will explain to the foreigners what's going on. Let me explain in English. Anybody who speaks English here, just in case you don't fully understand what's going on. Now, in the church here, our goal is to help everybody realize their potentials, discover their gifts, and go into that sphere of life to inherit it, as we say, it, or to dominate it, or to win it over for God. So, this is an individual who is using games to conquer the world. So, what he does, he takes one of the books that I've written and makes games from them, either card games or table games. I, 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 all of you, do all of you know Monopoly? You know the game they call Monopoly? Things like that. Games like that. So he develops games like that. And releases them to the society. And through that brings people to God. And through the values of the kingdom, bring the values of the kingdom of God to the marketplace. So this is the idea here. Someone that is using his gift 
and his talent, mathematics, to develop gifts, not like monopoly for the world, but gifts, I mean, for, but uh, games that emphasize the values of the kingdom of God so that you will play it and then come to God in the process. For example, a game could say, if you live honoring others, you are elevated in life. So you are playing, you think you are playing. So the name of the game could be honor. And when you dishonor, you discover that you lose, you lose uh, facts or you fall down or you go to jail or something like that. But when you honor, you see that you become president or you become a director. So that's what games are. And those are the kind of things he's developing. And that's why he tried to use games to teach us, to, you know, to communicate to us today that through games, we can bring the kingdom of God to reach the world. That's the idea. So, you may find Roman uh, through the contacts on the screen. You can also uh, suggest him your ideas on the games. Thank you very much, Roman. So, Roman, thank you very much. There are $200. Uh, and the dollars are fake, of course, because it's a game, too. Okay, let us continue. The University of Life is all about the books, first and foremost. It is a totality of wisdom and continuous self-education. You may find new ideas or create them. Everything started from the following. There are different phrases which are already worn out that, you know, you, you may live your life without mistakes, but it's just delirious. But God's resource is bottomless because he is wise. He makes the earth fertile and the seed to bear fruits. Under the um, effect of wisdom, everything changes. And this is all about faith. Faith can conquer many hearts and attract, while another one can be sitting on some uh, poor island all alone with a bowl uh, with a hole in it. Education is the light. Absence of education is darkness. The one who understood this will always be ahead. Helen Nismian, poetess and the director of Fatum, an actress. You know that every child knows that self-education and education is very important. Do you remember this very famous song? They teach us at school, teach us at school, and you know, we used to listen to this song so many times, and our parents used to say, oh, you have to study a lot and a lot. You know, what is school? School is textbooks, and textbooks is what? It is subjects, mathematics, literature, etc. Guys, what are you keeping, what are you holding in your hands? They are the books of University of Life. All people know about these books, and you don't? Even children know about these books. Can you imagine? And if, we, if children know, how come we cannot know, being adults? These books are creating bridges between a state and a man between a man and a husband. Let us cut a long story short. Let us answer the questions. So I will be asking you questions and um, you should uh, just name the title of the book where the quote was taken, okay? So the first 
series of the books from University of Life is dedicated to the relationships between parents and children. So, to whom will your child run for advice if he needs? Which book can answer this question? How can you become a friend to your child? This is the book can become an answer. So question number two, uh, do you want to receive dividends uh, from the uh, owner to your parents. Of course, the answers for these questions you may receive from the book, which is called How to Escape the Biggest Regret in Your Life. Question number three. How does your attitude uh, to mom and father change uh, your destiny. Yes, this is the book, uh, The Honor is the Way to the Greatness. So, question number four, when people, when your children were in uh, diapers, they had need in you, and if you find yourself in diapers, how will they behave with you? You know, sometimes when you read the books, you recollect many mistakes of yours and regret about them. So now the uh, books about the relationships between a husband and a, a wife. So question number one, divorce. Divorce, is it a sin or not? So which two books can help us to uh, solve this question? I think that this is... These are the books. Am I ready to marry a woman? And how to become a good wife? Question number two. Uh, who is the father? The one who gave birth or the one who brought up? So the answer can be found in the book, How to Become a Good Father, I Am a Man. You know, many women want to get married, to become happy, and when they get married, uh, then they ask the question, what happened? I got married, why am I not happy? So which book will help women not to ask these questions? Absolutely right. How to become a good wife and how to marry a man successfully. So question number four. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach, or that is absolutely wrong path, right? So the answer to this question can be found to the in the book Hooray, I'm a Woman, the benefits of unmarried women. So, you know, I, from my experience, I may say that the way to the man's heart is somewhere through the stomach. By the way, we are vegetarians, we eat only raw foods with Helen. So now the series of books dedicated to um, the personal growth. Why do we need you? So the answer to the question you may find in two books, which is called There is a man and there is no man. I'm a man, and my personality. So, the second question, why do you live? So, such a simple question, but not, not many people know the answer to it. So, and the answer to the question is in two books. You know, the answer to the question can be found in the death. You know, only, you know, imagining, imagining that uh, tomorrow I can die, we can find the answer to this question. Question. Question number three. Do you have several red diplomas and receive salary of the street janitor? So the book uh, which will help you to deal with this problem is called From Janitor to President. So now the questions are dedicated to the success. 
И чувствуем себя по-прежнему неудачно. You have read another bestseller about this success and still feel yourself a loser. Может, мы читали не то. Do you, is, is this familiar to you? Does this ring a bell? So the books which will help you to deal with this question is called Why wasn't I lucky or Who are lucky in life? And another book is Guide to the Great Life. You know, the foreigners uh, envy the Russian speakers because all the books are available only in Russian. You know, uh, pasta, there are also multiple books which are uh, only in English, so we may uh, organize the exchange. They translate into Russian, we translate it to English. So, next question. Uh, do you um, dream to become rich? And what for? So the answers to these question, questions you may find in two books which are called uh, Don't be a great person and uh, being not a great person is a sin and not being a successful person is also crime. And these are two books um, which may help you to understand the answer to this question. So the question number three is, you're so good and so right, but why are you still not at the wheel? Why do you not lead your life? So which book should we read then? Why do we not always win in life and who wins in life? These two books can answer the question. Next category of books on spiritual growth and development. Why do we continue to be slaves even though we know that we are kings? And the books where you can get these answers are the illusion of employment, why chess players are respected. And we think that big people in religion, in history, they always had like their big hats, their amazing garments, but that's not true. Religion was in every home. Because if you were at home and you didn't even say thank you for your food, you'd be punished by your parents. Religion plays in every part of a human. So, question number two. No, the same question. Why do we continue to be slaves even though we are kings? And in order to get the answer for this, you gotta read the book 10 Questions to Stephen Hawking. And this is the next question. When does when do we when does a normal life finally begin? That normal life that is so evasive but we always wish for. And you can get the answer for this in the book Life was yesterday. What am I not what am I missing for complete happiness? They will help us find the answer to this question. Have you ever been in a situation where you ask yourself, I don't get what's wrong with me? I don't understand. What's wrong? Yes, I asked it because we all ask ourselves the same question. So, what questions should we read? And the name of the book is What is Wrong With Me? Next category of books is Society. So, the question, do we still continue to discuss politics in the kitchen? Because that is the most obvious place where you discuss about politics. Well, I can argue with you that you can also debate on the bench right in front of your house. Are you worried about the state of your country? Well, you can get answers from this in the book, How to Revive a Country, and Seven Wonders of Socials. Next question. What did we lose with the collapse of the Soviet Union? Or what were we deprived of? The book, Values, which we were deprived of. 
Question number three. Should we change our country or should we start with ourselves? Because sometimes it seems like the country is in such a bad state because the prices of things go up but the salary goes down. So something needs to be changed. The president is wrong. Government is not right. So what should I start with? With myself or with the country? So everybody wants to change the country. Everybody wants to change their neighbor, but the key is you have to change yourself. And the name of the book is How to Become a European. And that is a sign of a good society, when you can answer for yourself. But what do the great people say? And the book is just a little tool that helps us to think. It's just a tool that causes us to think. And because everybody has the ability to think. But these books, they help to start the fire in you. That's what Emile Faget says, a French writer and critic. Reading books is a great opportunity. It has the uh, has the t ability to change your life better than your best friend. So if you still live in luck and success, please get this book and to become your best friend and boss. This was written by a Russian writer. A book has all the answers. You can always turn to it. Because the answers never change. A French said by a French romantic novel. So, if you really want answers, please buy these books. Well, now it's time for the directors of all the spheres of university of life get prepared to see a miracle because we were so amazed at the amazing work that is done near us and i'm just glad that i was able to find out about this magical craziness that is happening around us so under your round of applause here they come and here we are in the world of the University of Life. Our guest today are people who from books create new ideas. And we use these instruments to influence the whole world. Some of them edit these books. And there's a huge board that works with this. Some people create games from this and you've already seen it. And on this day, we already have over 10 games that will help us. Some people, they have trainings. And a whole team of trainers train their trainees in different countries. So could you come closer to us, you great people? And the pers another person created a whole online project with videos on basically every country. Can you imagine that? A video review on basically every book? You already know how many books Pastor Sunday has written. Or maybe a project of library in every home. Who has heard about that? It's how they just read a book, they really enjoyed it, wanted to open the library, and boom, that's a whole movement. If you don't know about it, you haven't met this person. Uh, but how would you like a personal trainer? A personal trainer that you don't need to... that you don't need to feed and he only takes 20 square centimeters in your house. You don't need to fight with him and it works for you. It's a daily planner that teaches you and directs your path to you. As you know, the University of Life is like a matrix. It's something that opens up your thinking. So, attention to the screen.
Regional pastor. Oh, uh, the life is a great project. I don't know if any of you have ever been able to experience being greater than your whole life. When you understand that today you are affecting or you're helping be a part of history, this project it teaches me or shows me what it means to be part of history. Because I understand that all of these programs that are being filmed, all these videos that are being filmed, they will, they will remain even though we will be gone. Первые циклы программ, как и все первое, оно такое, знаете, and the first пробное, video is just like experimental, many retakes, lots of works, because it wasn't working out to put this all together, to put the sound, the video, every, the design of the room, it was all very complicated. And we showed Pastor Sunday the first videos and he helped, he gave us, he told us what to correct and then he inspired us greatly. I'm very thankful to my team, the people who have been with me through a lot. And us 10 people, we have just been connected by one goal and all these people, each and everyone with their responsibility, their talent, their love to God and their sacrifice, it helps this project a lot. I understand that people like God. And it's just a huge happiness to know that you are doing what you're supposed to do. People who haven't experienced this, they'll never understand. Because it's a great feeling when you're doing something that you know you're supposed to do. There's no greater feeling. And these are the members of the team. Eugen Slusar, Vladimir Belatsky, Tatiana Grisiuk, Inna Belinska, Nazari Kachur, Alona Moroz, Sergei Muhin. Tatiana Yavtushek. A full version of the film you may watch on YouTube TV channel, YouTube channel which is on the screen. So for you to understand why you are clapping, you know, there are already 1500 videos on University of Life books. You know, I'm an actress on a TV channel, so I know what it is. And your task was, uh, her task was just to shoot 1,000 videos because I promised to give a grant of $100,000 to the one who will shoot uh, a thousand of videos on University of Life books and she even overdid her job, so therefore you know, for you uh, to be encouraged and propelled to fulfill this target, so no one can believe that. So uh, no one can believe that grant such a grant can be can be given to a person. And this is a problem of our country that we all dream to receive some money, but no one wants to work. But not in this very case. Pastor Natalie, you are s such a role model for all of us. Well done, well done. Thank you very much. Have you noticed that all genius things are created at the table with cookies and tea? And of course, there should be the one who took responsibility for a great job. And this is Natalie. Um, she's a regional pastor, a president of NGOs, Valin, and Territory of Life. Your applause to her.
Let us greet, let us, you know, make an encounter right here on the stage in the middle. And can you discover your secrets? How did you succeed in this? You know, dear pastor, I'm so grateful to you from the bottom of my heart. I bow before you because without you, I would not succeed. If not for your idea, if not for your encouragement, inspiration and wow effect, if not your acceptance, I would not be sitting like that, uh, looking through my videos again and again. While she, while she is uh, speaking, can you show her videos on the screen, please? Yeah, therefore, when we received this challenge, this offer, I had this in my heart already. I wanted to shoot videos on University of Life books. And to date, we have worked a year already. And for a year, we have created 1,500 uh, you know, videos. You know, Pastor Natalie, don't uh, be offended, but just you are a really hard-working person. You work as hard as a horse, uh, you know. So, you know, can you imagine um, that uh, each video takes five, seven minutes? And if she could, uh, or if she had done um, even one video per day, there, uh, there had to be only 365 videos only. But she was uh, shooting more than five, uh, more than four videos every day. You know, I think that she succeeded not only because she is beautiful, but she is an industrious person. You know, if she was she was sitting at home on her sofa, she wouldn't succeed. But you know, you, you need to lift your bottom and, and start working. Dear friends, have you ever had such a desire to shoot videos with you as a presenter on different topics? Have you ever had such a dream? Wave your hand if so. Uh, don't be shy. Okay, so I see some people here who really dream to, to have own videos, but why do you still not have your own videos? Why? Because you did nothing. Therefore, I want to inspire you through her example. We should learn a lesson from her uh, experience. Just take, um, you know, an advantage and do something. So how many views are there on YouTube? A half a million, half a million of views uh, for a year. It's just for a year. Hallelujah. Because there was only one woman who decided to move on and to do something. Yeah, uh, we have 1,500 uh, followers uh, who subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, I have only 700 and you outstripped me. Yeah, Pastor, you know, I believe indeed in into the hard work. You know, we thought that we will shoot maximum 10 videos, but then we shot 43 for one, uh, say, day. And every day we work m m over eight hours every day. You know, of course, if we count uh, preparation and rehearsals, it will take more hours, of course, but uh, we may start um, um, in the very early morning and then finish, um, at, uh, you know, the uh, midnight or after midnight. And can you imagine that I was talking all these hours? Can you speak for six hours nonstop? Huh? I believe that you sanctified. I believe that the word sanctified is uh, correct in this context. Think that you, you sanctified 43 books with your videos, basically. I don't know, honestly, I, I'm afraid of asking other questions. 
because I have millions of questions. I want to run after you and just ask one question. How did you do this? How? How? Tell me. You know, Helen, uh, the uh, MC on the stage, she is a professional actress, a TV worker, and she knows what she says. And the level on which you have shot the videos is very high. I, I put the A grades for you, and we will maybe uh, create a, a sort of Oscar for you. You know, looking at your example, I, I want to do more. Dear Pastor, thank you very much. You are my spiritual father, and you will be always my spiritual father. Thank you very much for your abundant love and for the standards and high, heights you show. Thank you very much that you allow to be near you. Thank you that I can learn from you. To date, I don't have questions. And for the next year, this year, I have a lot of books to cover with my videos. I think that you started working faster than me. Seems I publish books slower than you shoot your videos. You know, usually people complain that they don't manage to read the books uh, when another one appears. And you know, Pastor, when I finish shooting the videos, I will come to you for the next task. You know, you spurred me to think what task to create for you because you are successful. Thank you very much. We are proud of you. I will explain for foreigners in English. Of how people could discover themselves, their gifts, and their uniqueness to take the kingdom of God and advance it. What is happening here is that she knows that she has the look and the physique and she has the beauty, but she wants to be able to sell that without corrupting herself. So the idea she came up with is to be doing video clips, vi you know, with values, with messages that would change lives of people. So she decided to just be doing video, shooting herself. Then she came together with it. Well, she came up with a team, and together with a th with a team, just in one year, they have been able to produce 1,500 videos, and that's like three videos a day because you know a, 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 day, a year is only 365 so it's an, um, and she's a pastor still and she's still working and to be able to do that is just incredible and they've been able to in one year influence listen you can't believe it in one year 500,000 people half a million just one little lady that decided to act amazing 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 I've got a question to you, anyway. You know, some thoughts sprang into our minds, I believe, here. If you have a book or if you have some script, how, how can we contact you to, uh, you know, shoot, shoot a video? on the script we create. So you may find a contact of Pastor Natalie in the office of the church or on the website. So my name is Thank Natalie, you, Natalie. Natalie. Thank, Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Natalie. You know, you proved uh, that life has a sense. You proved that beauty is nothing comparing with hard work. And the next project. The next project is all about the trainings, and Helen Belova, the head of the department dedicated to training sessions, uh, will present this division. So she trained more than 1,000 trainees. She is a regional trainer and consultant and psychologist and president of all Ukrainian NGO, which is called Social Collaboration.
give her a lot of applause. Yeah, let me ask a question anyway. This is my business. A question is really banal and trivial. Uh, why do we need so many trainers? Uh? I'm really, really, really grateful to Pastor Sunday that he helped me to realize my potential. And I have acquired so many, no so much knowledge for these years as never before. I have been in the church for many years and I know many of you. But here in University of Life, I discovered my inner potential and uh, realized it. I bow before you, thank you. And answering this question, let me say that why, sh why do we need trainers? Trainers bring transformation into lives of people. They bring practical things uh, to the lives of people uh, after reading the books of University of Life. They can bring harmony to multiple fields of life. And I believe that um, these books can help to receive new and uh, real uh, values of life. Yeah, what about the lazy people who don't like studying? You know, lazy people, come on, come to me. Uh, we will help you to create uh, such, you know, easy, streamlined uh, textbooks which, uh, you know, will help you to develop. And, you know, we will also create training uh, which will, you know, which you will be able to uh, present everywhere you wish. So on the screen, entrepreneur is the creator of his own future. The book is called, the next book, where can we uh, receive money, for, where can we get money for our dream and what is dream for? So, we are lazy people, and lazy people don't like when they are called lazy. So, um, of course, for busy people, hardworking people, these books are nice, uh, you know, words. But anyway, uh, let us show the names of the books. I'm a man. Am I a personality? Um, the bride you can envy. So the one who studied at my trainings uh, may prove that it's very easy to become a trainer. Uh, because the trainings of University of Life are easy, practical and professional. Thank you very much, Helen. Thank you very much. Let me explain for foreigners in English language. For a year, she trained over 1,000 trainees. Can you imagine that? Who has ever dealt with this area? Wave your hand, please. Who has ever dealt with the trainings? Can you imagine that uh, you can you can hold maximum 500 trainings per year, but she over overdone it. Even. I'm I'm really proud of you all. Really, you create so good projects, so good textbooks. Can you show them, please? It's incredible. Since. And so for two years he has certified 300 trainers. So they are professionals now. It's only embers of God Church uh, that can create so many things. Now, for foreigners, okay, this is another person that is using training, trainings, coaching to spread the kingdom of God. So in two years, she was able to organize 1,000 trainings. <laughs> that is amazing. 1,000 is 500 a year. So it's more than once a day. That is amazing. But she's able to do that because she has a team as well. And then they've been able to train 300 coaches and trainers in two years. 
you know, those are the kind of miraculous stuff individual believers could achieve when you release them and empower them. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Yelena Vilova. We just thank you so much. And now the next category is the category of working with with the daily planners and we just applaud you for taking a step closer to normal people so I personally have four planners thus so I can get production four times more but I want to know should I get a fifth one because I already have four is it enough and wow are you gonna can you handle this so hello dear church I am in charge of creating these planners. This is the idea of Pastor Sunday that he entrusted me with. And I'm very thankful, Pastor Sunday, that you would be so kind to trust me with this. And to answer your question, I would argue for you that you should get the fifth planner. Because going into a store, you can, take, you can see many notebooks. Red, black, green, no question, but none of them will offer you the point and the goal for each month. Oh, it's not right. This, this isn't just this is a plan, this is not just a normal notebook, but I'm saying just not, it, no any notebook will give you and offer you any goals for any month. This planner though will give you a goal for every month, not any notebooks from the store will force you to make a decision of the day. But these planners do. It's going to suggest for you a citation of the day. But none of the notebooks in the store will give you advice about what you need to do today in order to be closer to your goal. Wait, I already want to open this. So I can talk a lot about this product. But I still think that you shouldn't compare this planner with the notebook you need to compare it with a different planner because this isn't just a planner this is your personal trainer that is the difference because there are no personal trainers that is the specific difference and I'll tell you that no daily plan, no planners have d written in here. Tell goal of the month. I promise to love myself for my body. And these are all achievable goals. I accept my body as the way it is. My age. My color and yes, it is true, it's your personal trainer for every day. And I can say a lot, but I just recommend you to look at it once by looking at the screen. Daily planner of a good wife. It's not right. I tell him one thing, but he tells me nothing. He doesn't understand me. Oh, I'm so annoyed at him.
как я устал. Возможно, so, в этих отношениях. So Больше, когда тебя не понимаю. Достала. Ох, она занимает меня так много. Я попробую. Well, Может, не поздно все изменить. Я хочу любить. Я действительно хочу попробовать. And Pastor, this is a gift for you. Wow, that video was amazing. All these videos that are being shown today, the quality is just so high. And is this one of your videos? No, this is ours. This is our own department and we can make our own video. And we have been filming it for a month now. We wanted to create a social advertisement for this plan. We wanted to show that if your relationship is ruined somewhere, if you don't know where an exit is, it's very easy. Just take this personal trainer into your hands. And us men, we're already jealous because we want one as well. We're waiting for one. Everything is there for you. So, if you want to purchase this planner, and if you see this advertisement around, please spread it. Uh, repost it on your social networks. Let the world see it. I thank you for this trust you've given to us. How many planners are there? So in a year we've created 24 types. So there's a planner, how to become a Ukrainian, a planner, how to get money for your future, a disciplined child, how to marry a man, the right man, how to become from gender to a president. On 23 books of University of Life, we have planners. And we continue to work. So if you want to create unique products, please speak with me. Guys, did you know about that? We all live in one home. And we didn't know that it is such an amazing thing that there are 24 products that will help with any situation. Thank you so much, Aksana. Give them a round of applause. This is all University of Life. And I would just want to say that for all men, if you really want to give this to them as a gift, how to become a good wife, be very sensitive and sincere about it. And there are many books. The question, and the question arises, how does Pastor Sunday have the time to write so many books? And here to the help comes the team of editors. Pastor Natalia Kalida. And right away, the question has already been made. Come on, come to the front, don't be shy. Can you answer the question that worries all of us? Even if you don't raise up your hand, you will know. How do you, if we don't have enough time to read the books, how can someone have time to write them? 
I think that if a person understands that a university of life book has answers to the questions, they will read them very fast. Because every person has problems, right? And they arise every day. And each book is an answer to a problem. So somebody lives with a problem for a year, two, three, four, five years. And they continue living that way. But if every month a man took a book and worked on it, he'd be able to work on himself and the problems would disappear, people would be happy. And this is why we're here. You don't want to say that it's only you that works, right? Of course not. I want to use this opportunity to say and thank our pastor for that when he works with books, he also lifts up normal people. People who are just sitting in the hall, who are just at home, maybe in a different country or in a different city. And I'd like today to honor those people who are working at the books in the University of Life. So, Pastor raises us, he lifts us up, and through these books, we have been raised. These are people who were basically nobodies. But thanks to God and Him helping us like that, we leave our names in history. So I just want to read off some of those names. So, so while you're opening, let me just say this. If you think, oh, I can't do anything, those people, of those names that you're about to hear, they thought like you as well. And I edited one book. So when you edit one book, you don't just know this book, you become this book. You live in this book. And you know how cool it is to live in one and it's a great job done. And I'll be reading some names. And these people, they're sitting next to you in this hall. And I want, if you, if you hear your name, you could just stand up. And we will just give them a round of applause. So, Irina Irusikova. Oksana Galko. Yelena. Yelena Stavsny, Bogdan Lilia, Yelena Zavulka, Anastasia, Anastasia Zavulka, Zamira, Zamira, Yerovinka Svetlana, Svetlana Zamirinka, Ekaterina, Ekaterina, Galina, Galina Kirchenka, Olga, Olga Bykova, Tatiana, Tatiana Shishko, Natalia Samruk, Yelena Bonda. Alexander Ivanyukin, Kristina Kovanya, Kostina Yelena, Plitnyova Maria, Astakov Alexei, Shigrin Tatiana, Tatiana Shigrin, Nadezhda, Nazir Anna, Ignatieva Aksana, Aksana, Kravyova Aleksandra, Aleksandra, Kravnichenka Irina, Irina, Kravnichenka Yulia, Yulia, Sadredinova Umeda, Umeda, Katelikova Alena, Alena, Svetlana, Yaroslav, let us give them a big round of applause and thank them for all their hard work. All these books that you saw on the screen today in different spheres of life. These guys have worked super hard on these materials. And these books are here so that we can read them. Thank you Pastor Sunday for making us a part of history. Thank you for sharing your success with us and your knowledge. And when we're working on these books, our lives are changed. We become personalities. And the values of God, they are just planted into our seeds and hearts. So I want to invite those people who would want to join our team. You can find us every day during the day, during the anniversary. That's incredible. So if you don't like to read books, but you understand that you still need to read these books, just become part of the editing team and you'll be forced to read them. Thank you for such such a wise advice. And this is for the English speakers now. 
uh, the last two people presented, this very last one is the team of redactors, uh, people that editors, we call them editors, people who help me edit my books. So that they work on them because I don't have all the time. So sit down because I have five books coming out every month. So I have a team of people that help me with the editing. And uh, that is that team. But the, th the other one before then, the lady with the film, is uh, another, t another team of people writing uh, what we call personal trainers, like um, a guide, personal guide. Like, uh, it's, um, it's you be able to walk uh, notebook, but that you but I make you to work on yourself. Just, you know, notebooks that help you to uh, work on your character and for you to develop the necessary virtues in life. Yep. A full team works on writing these books. And this, this brings up the next question. How does this, how did these books create and spread throughout the whole world? And this is the next project. And it is our department of the libraries. And remember there was a store we watched the video we watched this morning. This is this type of person who, whenever there is something to do, they always want to help. This person knows how to do everything. Our, you are in charge of the department of the library, or the movement, University of Life book in each home. We're making this step forward with you. So, I have a question. How many representatives there are, are there of, of libraries? Uh, so, there are, they are in 11 countries. Wow. What about representatives? Maybe plus or minus 15, about 400. So I'd say 385 representatives of University of Life in this department. People come and read these books. And there are 3,000 libraries at home. Your applause. So if I have a book of University of Life, am I already a library? So you can come to me at any moment. So I can't run away from this. No, this is your personal library, but if you want to be part of us, you can be part of it. So after a book has been read, you can be a library right away and share it with other people. And I think the price is different. Oh, stop saying all the secrets of our library. So, how many libraries are there over? Over 400,000? So there are some libraries that are the classic ones, but all together, let's see, 3,885. So, wow, that's amazing. So, 3,380. And I thought you were going to tell us something else. Oh, it's just because we already talked about it in the first service. If you read books, if you want to open up a library, if you have any new ideas, please join us. And we would want to open up an organization where we can help more. And if you are very interested, please join us. And we cannot just only read these books, but we can also be helpful with them. Wow, that's amazing. Imagine, 3,400 libraries all over Ukraine and the whole world. Three over 3,000 no, Imagine that basically every street can have a library in every home. 3,800. We're going to change Ukraine, whether Ukraine wants it or not. Oh, 
Oh, are you okay? Oh, nothing, I'm just speaking such a way. But I can speak much better. How many of us have a defective speech or just can't say what we want? Or we just have stage fright? Who is you? Who knows this type of situation? Come on, be brave. I know it's more than a few of you. There are a lot of us. So I just want to give a word right now to Alexander Grigoriev. He is an actor, he is a director, he is also part of our church, a trainer, a consultant, and an expert in the sphere of public speaking. So you get the floor now. Mark Tuciron once said, I know nothing better than the ability with the word with your mouth to attract a whole crowd, to influence them and to influence their will from where you want to go. We have the power to think well. But we don't always have the power to speak well. How hard it is to say one's thought or what is written in the book. Each person strives for success. And it all comes to a conclusion when it comes to being able to speak orally. It's not the better people who win, but the better speakers who win. So learning how to speak well should be a goal of each person. Because if we want to be successful in this life, you should prepare for this. Each training and diversity of life is has includes a course on public speaking. So if you are not very sure of your ability to speak on stage in front of people, please, you're very welcome. And my contacts, uh, that can, they can be found at the office. Alexander Grigoryevich, еще раз, 093 and now you understand how he was able to persuade me to marry me. He has such an interesting speech, I just wanted to always listen to him. Well, well, it's not time, it's time for humor and laughing. Because without humor and laughing, life would be very dull. So the head of this, Oksana Golovko. Good afternoon. Today I am here, Oksana Golovko. What happened all these days before University of Life? What strategies were made by the University of Life? Who stands here in front of the University of Life? You will hear all about this from the news in University of Life. Two years ago, University of Life was born. Some people came, some people left. But there were those who worked silently under the tutelage of our boss, Pastor Sunday. You could look at the editors and say, wow, they're so normal. And this is the open society. It's not hidden. They're not special or geniuses. There are those who took the decision to create history in themselves. And you can see them all around you. And not knowing that they are creating their genius every day. Every other t Tuesday, the editor's team meets. And great ideas are made not only in the Silicon Valley, they are made with great enthusiasts, enthusiasts who are ready to take risks. If you are not with us yet, we will come to you. University of Life workers at 3 o'clock every Wednesday they meet. 
My idea disappeared. That's what the little kid yelled from across the street. But then people in dressed very nicely came to him and changed his world. If you are in need of resources, then the University of Life will be able to help you with that. It can be found through smiles and a comforting voice. Every day during the breaks of the anniversary, you can see them in the social hub. You are being called in the door, and they are smiling. They are offering you something. But you are thinking with a stubborn heart to open or not to open. And in the people you see a kind door, Alla Furman, and you open the door. Alla Furman with her libraries was able to reach you. And there are some unknown codes that have been shown in the house. SMN, which are able to, in so social networks to repost. If you don't know how to become popular in the popular in the social sphere, I tell you to find a person with the last name Coronis, and they will help you how to become popular very quickly. Проходя по коридору во время перерыва, не перепутайте социальный городок со столовой. Предлагаю вам оставаться in the place where the cafeteria is. You can also be in our social hub, where you can find out many things about all the projects of our church. So we will see you soon, University of Life. University of Life gives answers to many problems, and they exist with every one, and every day. Problems every day people have problems. Because life is a battle, and we are made, and we are called to be winners in it. There, behind the wall, is my victory. Behind that thick slab of concrete, where, there no, where no light comes through the wall of facts, the wall of no, or the wall of come back tomorrow. There are no more victories today. And my hope cried because of the gray walls that wouldn't let me through. And he brought bright from heaven through thunder. And he says, your victory is right there, right behind the wall. It is there. And that helped my hope. And through my hope came faith. And through my faith, God's wings came. And the wall that was there crumbled to dust. I'm not scared anymore of iron logic. Nothing can steal me anymore. My dreams cannot be broken. But all who come to me with fear say, I stand strong and I hold it in my own arms. I will believe until I get my success.
расцвет большого зала Передо мной, но столько лет стена стояла That wall stood there for so many years and I wondered how long could it be there and I kept on pushing as, as far as my strength allowed it but the wall still remained and I have to conquer it I was able to defeat it and I will be able to while you're all with me with me My wall is made from hard material and not smoke. I don't need your lives. Again, the wall remains there. I have to conquer it. I will be able to defeat it. As long as you are all with me. And where's the wall now? It's not there anymore. And I'm able to come here on stage and I shout, build me a wall, I can conquer anything now. And once again, the wall stands and I have to conquer it. And I will defeat this wall as long as you're all with me. As long as my God is with me. Bravo, wow, that was amazing. Good job. That is one of the many talents that are in our church. That was Natalia Kolada, who is in charge of the Department of Education. Do you know who Lev Tolstoy is? He is, he is a pretty big alcoholic who would stand near the, near the trash cans and say, I wanted to write this book called War and Peace, but he was told that nobody likes to hear about war and nobody believes in peace. But he still wrote this book, and we know characters of, from the book that were left. And maybe some of you have a story that will shake mankind. And maybe you're scared of speaking, like Moses, but Moses was able to find Aaron who would be able to say what he thought. Pastor Sunday said that he will not leave this earth until he will leave the earth with a thousand books. And the latest book that he written, that he wrote is called why should I write a book? Tell me about it. Oh, you want me to come out? Okay, I'm ready. Pastor Sunday. We welcome, please welcome him.
The start of these people. The start of this success. Does nobody need all this fake money that Roman who played this game with us? Wow, by a hundred dollars. You must be really rich. So, why do I write books? And, or, why do you have to write your own book? This is the very latest book. You may be seated. So, you already asked the question yourself. Alright, so, why am I writing this? Why do I write books? So, each chapter, it explains why. And, maybe Yelena will help to read the chapters and I will explain. So, chapter one. When you write books, do we have another book? Oh, it will be brought soon. Isn't that it right there? Yes, it is. We're going to read the forward, the table of contents. Crystallize your passion. Do you have a passion for something? A book, it will keep this passion with you forever. And many of us had passions, but it's been ruined already. We've, been, we've forgotten about it. Some people have gotten to the point where they don't even have any, any passion left. Because they never wrote it. Right, next. That's why I write a book. Each one of my book holds one of my passions. Next. Cross over continents and eras. Because of this, I don't live in one lifetime. I live for centuries to come. I cross over not only this era that I live in, but thanks to him, thanks to these books, I'll be able to live through my books in other areas, not just Ukraine though, but other continents as well. And look at all these foreigners that are here. They are able to read my books and come to Ukraine, even though I haven't left Ukraine in a couple of years. So it helps me to cross over continents and areas. Remain where you can't. Oh, you'll be able to remain where your physical body won't remain. So, for example, if I have a book in Los Angeles, my spirit will still be there even if my physical body is here. Thanks to this book, I can be everywhere. So all of you will be going back to your home cities on Monday and you'll be taking a part of me with you. Because I can be here and there at the same time. Weave yourself through the book. By these books, I become unforgettable. I am an unforgettable person because I left myself on this earth through these books. You know, we can invest money, we can invest time. I think the best investment is to write a book. Because I, if I invest money, I can lose it. If I invest time, time runs out. But if I invest myself in a book, it will bring dividends, even if I won't be here. You can, ec you can economize money through it, money and time through it. So, because I write a book, I don't have to retell everyone the same solution to a problem. I've written it once, and now everybody can get it. So I don't have to repeat all my... And even this, I don't have to answer this question anymore, because I wrote a book about it. Create your own time capsule. So what, a, what is a capsule? It is something that you 
take but has something inside of it so when you take in the capsule like a pill it has something inside of it so the outer edge it dissolves but the, what's inside is the important thing so this knowledge that people take they swallow it but the knowledge and important part remains inside it create your own system of values every person has their own values coca-cola has their own values mcdonald's has their own set of values but my books have my my books are my values because i write what i actually believe in through these books become creators of a new mentality thanks to these books i I create new people, new modern people. So I write a book in order to create a new nation. And I formulate new men mindsets of people. So before you came to the Embassy of God, you were one type of people. You drank, you took, you smoked, you took drugs. But now when you came here, you and talk to me you have changed now I don't you don't have to come to me you can just read these books and you will be changed even if they have never seen me it's amazing change the traditions of old because of these you could say I hated my mom but I had now I have this book now I came home I for, asked for forgiveness and now she just were just happy she never saw me but my book it helped me change the tradition of the of their lives and that is how it always is and it will affect every other country bring positive changes into someone else's life positive changes who has ever read a book and that you just felt very good after it have you ever had that uh, at this time maybe I was just at home sleeping so I can make people feel good without having to stand up get friends outside of your comfort zone every day I receive letters from people I don't know thankfully they so they read my book and they thank me become immortal thanks to these books I'll never die why because I didn't just leave one book I plan on leaving a thousand books I'll be the first person on this earth to write a thousand books and you know it's, I'll, I'll speak about my goals later you can increase your sphere of influence of course this has influence and all these thousand books they will go in a thousand different directions thousand books every month they'll be able to affect me because every month I get maybe two or three and if it's a good month four books but when there'll be thousands it should be like a thousand every month change someone's life's life in one day so even if a man reads just one chapter his life will be changed be someone who lives in all eras because even though Lva Tastoy died so many years ago he is still being talked about today that makes him a man of this era share your mistakes um, troubles and hardships you know life is all about failures and success and all of us will have both but the main thing is what you are doing with your mistakes will you convert your mistakes to your lesson and the lesson for other people around therefore there are many victories but also 
Um, there are many mistakes uh, which are very valuable for the whole humankind. Help someone to start doing something. You know, thanks to these books, uh, someone starts doing something. Open and reveal God for yourself. You know, thanks to these books, many people receive Jesus. And then open up the heaven, open new horizons, knowledge, and experiences. Do books give all that? I'm sure they do. Help many other people to work on themselves. Do you think books help to work on your character? Of course, they do. Share your wisdom and comprehension of deep things. Do you acquire wisdom through books? Of course you do. Does a book inspire? Of course it does. Please share your uh, failures and successes. It somehow repeats the previous cheer chapter and you know your mistakes help others not to repeat your mistakes. Amen. Multiply dialogue with all generations, cultures, and uh, races. I have my books translated to English, German, French, and other many languages. And I'm just sitting here in Ukraine. Anyway, I have a dialogue with Japanese, German, French people, Americans, whatever, just because I've written these books. Be quiet. Be quiet. So, just this is the name of the chapter. Yeah, because when you have the books with answers, you can have peace in your life. You don't need to worry. Just buy the book and you will get the peace. Become a revolutioner. Thanks to these books, you can transform countries, continents, people who transformed countries and history, they all read a lot of books and created them. There are many, you know, series of books, um, like a, a set of books, which you may create from one book. Create your signal. You can become a brand yourself, thanks to your books. You can also air your views through your books. And then many people can quote you through your books. This is why I write my books. There are 40 chapters why I write books and why you need to write your own book. Give a round of applause, please. Have I answered your questions? Yes, thank you, Pastor.